Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Also, don't forget to hit the subscription button below if you haven't done so already and follow me on my social media to catch a glimpse of my silliness behind the scenes and first looks into future videos. But let's get into today's video. So for today's video, I will be reviewing the Wet n Wild brushes. I know these have been out for a minute, but I purchased this directly from Wet n Wild. It, it took two months, and then it took me a couple more weeks to be able to review them for this video. But let's just go ahead and jump into that. So if you're interested, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the brushes are dirty. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> But I did use them for today's makeup. Um, so let's just start with one of the bigger ones. So all of these that are like bigger face brushes, they're all I believe like $2.99. And then like these smaller ones are like 99 cents. I'm not sure about this one, but for sure, 99 cents, $2.99. So they're pretty affordable brushes. And I know, again, a lot of people were drawn to them because of their cool white packaging, their handles, and then, you know, their bristles and everything. Really girly, really cute. That's why everyone loved them. Okay, guys, so let's start off with my least favorite. And this is the large stippling brush. Um... I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. It doesn't say on the tubing or anything, but I'll have listed and link down below all of these brushes. So this one, I originally thought, you know, it's going to be cool and really nice for a really sheer, you know, easy, natural foundation look or, you know, maybe for primer. It just, it sheds like... I don't think you guys can see right now and I did this at first I'm like okay it's not shedding but as soon as you like put it on your face there's like little white bristles everywhere and it was just no huge mess like nobody wants a brush that sheds no matter if it costs a lot or a little it's just a no-go so the next brush I have is the small stipple brush and this is the complete opposite. I have yet to have any shedding and I've been using it for weeks and I used it today to blend out my cream contour and that's what I personally really love using it. It blends everything out so flawlessly but you can also use it. I've also used it for highlight which I don't know why or what was going through my mind but it worked for that as well. Also you can use it for blush. Pretty much anything that you feel like using this brush for. For a small, you know, area like this, it'll work for. But my personal favorite is definitely to blend out cream contours. The next brush is, I believe, it is meant to be the angled contour brush. However, I don't like it for that. I mean, you could if that's the kind of brush you like. But typically for these kind of brushes, I like to use um for blush. So I have been using this one for my blush. And I think it's really nice. It does its job. It will do it nicely. So again, you know, it does its job. I'm pretty sure you can use it for other things. Um, I do see it working for the contour. I just personally don't really like these um, angled brushes for that. But I've been loving it for my blush. Okay, so this next brush, I do believe it is the blush brush, but I use this to contour or bronze. I really like how it's very um, tapered like this. So I love this to do that and I tend to do it on more natural days. I've definitely been doing it with a very light bronzer, very natural. But today you can see I went more hardcore contour and it definitely still works for that. I feel like it has enough brushes that it will do it nicely but it's loose enough that it will blend it perfectly. And again, I haven't got shedding on this one so far so always a plus. Okay, so the next brush I have here is the powdered brush, and this is um, very fluffy, 
and very uh, packed but it also you can see it moves pretty easily so I love my powder brushes to do one thing and let's set my entire face very lightly just like a very swift dust because most of the time powder brushes are made because um, I mean, they're not, I don't know if they're made for that. But most of the time when I find powder brushes, I kind of don't like them because they're so dense that it kind of ends up giving you more coverage. Um, or giving you like a lot of powder at once. And that's not what I want. I have really oily skin, so I have to set my powder. I have to set my face with powder pretty much any time I'm doing like an exaggerated not exaggerated but like when I'm doing like a makeup look and I want it to stay like that for more than like two hours I have to set it so a powder brush I just want it to lightly dust everything so it sets it nicely but lots of the times powder brushes are like mm -mm, girl you are about to go get caked so I was pleasantly surprised that with this brush I was able to achieve just that light dustness all over my face um so you know again and it's really soft um i don't think i've been mentioning that with the other brushes but they are really like really soft like i can like touch it it's just that soft okay and the last face brush that i have here is the flat top i think it's just called a flat top yes it's a flat top brush when i first was like seeing this online i'm like okay it looks like it's a good size i thought it was going to be comparable to this one but it's much smaller than what i thought so i was like uh. so i was kind of neglecting to be like i don't know if i'm gonna like this brush but i have been using it with foundation and it actually buffs it buffs it buffs it actually buffs <laughs> it actually buffs and blends foundation pretty well I still go um, when I'm done over with a beauty blender but that's just my preference even when I use other brushes I just I feel like let's do that extra step but that's just me being weird so this does actually a really good job of like going all over and like Again, I thought I was going to be really disappointed because with the size, but it seems to be working perfect for my foundation. Okay, so moving on to the smaller brushes, I have the fan brush. And I actually don't know how I feel about this because, like, can you see how it does it? <laughs> like, I don't think it's, it's kind of too stiff to be a good highlight brush but I have used it and still felt like it was okay I don't know it just it feels weird I would just say don't don't buy this like just don't okay and then I have the large shadow brush and I really like this one I think it's really good um but again it's nothing like oh my god it's the best shadow brush in the entire world you need it immediately dial blank 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 to order it now no like it's a good brush i personally like it and i will continue to use it you know and i transition it in from you know an elf brush to a I forgot what other brands I have but I just use it and it works well and I like it so it's a good brush and then I have the crease brush I believe it is and of course this is good for your crease and I actually really do like it it has a really good blendiness to it and actually I haven't been mentioning this <laughs> But in the brushes, there's like this little dent, and I actually do use the dent. Not so much with the bigger brushes. I mean, yeah, I do. I do use them. <laughs> okay. But with the little ones, I really do notice it. I put like my thumb in it and, you know, just go and i really it feels really comfortable so um good with that one well so this is the last brush and it's just a smudge brush and it works really perfect i wouldn't use it for smudging because i feel like it's so little but to tight line right under it's perfect 
it's the brush you want for that. Okay guys, so overall, most of their brushes seem to be pretty good. Um, out of all of them, I just didn't like the fan brush and the stippling brush. It was just like, no. I don't need you but all of these I was pleasantly surprised and happy and I was like thank god I didn't wait two months for nothing because these brushes are incredible and I do use them in my routine it's just whatever brushes clean I go to use but I definitely recommend buying this I do not recommend buying them directly from Wet n Wild because they will take an eternity to get to you. At least in my case, they did. But if you can buy them in your stores, definitely buy them because they're just amazing. But with all that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you guys find a new brush to go and venture for. But thank you guys for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.